Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another moving vlog. Per usual for me, we are starting this moving vlog with my hair looking a mess, no makeup. I got home last night around like 1 a.m. from a week long work trip. I was up until like three and then I woke up this morning at 8.45 so I did not get a lot of sleep. But today is not about looking glamorous, it is about moving my shit from one apartment to another apartment. So right now it is Saturday, July 15th around 10 a.m. My lease technically does not begin until noon today. So I have a couple hours this morning to just organize some stuff and figure out like what I'm bringing with me and like what round. Um, a couple of my friends are coming over in like a couple hours to start helping me with things. So it's going to be a chaotic day, but I'm trying to take these couple hours in the morning to just like plan what I want to move. Also the building, like you need to reserve the elevator to move stuff, like furniture and stuff. So I'm trying to just prioritize like the big stuff that number one, I would need help with and number two, that they'll require me to use the elevator for um, because they have like they have all these rules about the elevator, but basically other stuff I think I could take over in like a shoulder bag or like my little grocery cart, but for like the bigger furniture and stuff, I just want to prioritize bringing that over like while people are here to help me. So it's chaotic. I have a big long list of like everything I need to do to move and then everything I need to do to like clean this place when it's empty. The other complicating factor I guess is that I'm trying to film a lot of content not only for like this vlog but also for like TikTok videos and like future videos and stuff. Like I've seen a lot of really cute videos where people will show like their apartment empty and it'll say like the apartment we moved into versus the home we made or something like that and so I want to make sure I have enough footage of like how the apartment looks empty and like how it looks when I first get there so that later on when it's all decorated and stuff I have like something to compare it to. I also want to do like a side-by-side -side kind of tour of the apartment so I want to do like a full video of how it looks empty, empty apartment tour and then put it side by side with like a fully furnished video kind of like on those home makeover shows and stuff you know how they'll show like the same footage of like what a room looks like before and after i want to make something like that like i have all these ideas in my head and i want to make sure that during the move process even though it's going to be a little chaotic i want to make sure to film everything that i want so that i can make content later so i think i'm gonna stop here and then maybe i will jump to what the apartment looks like when i get the keys in a couple of hours so guys i just got here and i'm taking my walk through through the empty space it's gonna be really echoey because obviously there's nothing in here but this is the kitchen it has these cute little cabinets that i didn't even realize it had when i came last time also they just redid this floor it used to be like a tile floor i kind of wish that these had matched but i might end up just putting like a black and white tiles or something on top of this i don't know we'll do, come up with something cute um this is supposed to be the living room and then this is the dining room right but i'm kind of thinking about making this room be my office and then make this area the dining room and then this the living room and then over here this is the bathroom it's definitely like a very old school style bathroom i'm gonna try to scrub these tiles and get them a little cleaner um there's also like some rust in the bottom of the um, shower so I need to deal with that this is the bedroom the bedroom has a closet which I did not realize the first time there's a radiator or I guess because I'm in Philly I should call it a radiator and then my bed's gonna go right here there's another closet over here which is like a hall closet I guess or like a linen closet there's a closet over here in the living room, which is so much storage space. And these ceilings go up pretty tall, so that's really nice. And then there's also a pantry closet next to the front door. So that's cool. This is gonna be like for my kitchen stuff. And then also when the realtor showed me this place, he showed me this little door. This is for trash, so it opens into the hallway. So like back when this building was a hotel, the maids i guess could come pick up your trash but overall this place is looking really good 
These cabinets are kind of interesting. They have like an interesting lock mechanism. Um, I might end up like papering over these with like a color or something cute. The fridge looks pretty new and nice. So that's cool. And then I have all this storage space up here. So maybe I can put plants up here or I don't know. I don't know. I'm definitely going to change this countertop because this is extremely ugly. But you guys, if you've seen my old kitchen in my old place, it's like tiny, tiny, tiny compared to this. So to have like an actual space where I can cook is going to be ridiculous. Okay. So it is much later, it's like 7 p.m. This is kind of the conclusion-ish of the first day of moving. At least I'm gonna be no longer moving anything else into the apartment tonight. I don't even wanna know what I look like right now, but I will show you guys what got accomplished today. So I ended up moving a lot of decor from the old house to the new house. So this is all just like random decor, some books. There's a couple like picture frames and stuff over here. Um, most of my shoes are here. This is more like art and stuff. Um, I've started bringing my plants over. So here's a couple of the plants. They're kind of like spread around the apartment right now. Um, I put some like office supply stuff in this because I think this room is going to be for my desk. And then more random stuff. This is all like random glassware and stuff that I have to deal with more plants, more glassware. So that's the kitchen. And then, oh, I'm so exhausted, you guys. So more plants in the bathroom. I brought over a bunch of my like cosmetics and like, you know, products and stuff and put those in there. And then in this closet is more stuff that didn't fit in the other cabinet. I think this is gonna really be like a linen closet, but I just put stuff in here for now. Um, and then the bedroom doesn't really have much. This tapestry that I showed in one of my recent videos, it's like this one with this woman like holding a basket. I'm not gonna open it up right now, but I looked at the measurements and it perfectly fits right here. So that's gonna go there eventually. I brought a few clothes over. Other than that, the bedroom's pretty empty other than the nightstands. And then I also put some stuff in this closet which i don't know what this closet is gonna eventually be but like these are clothes that i'm like selling on poshmark and stuff so i just separated them from my regular clothes but that is it day one i feel like i almost feel like i didn't do anything but in reality i know that i brought so much stuff over so now me and my little cart are gonna go back home hi guys it's a couple days later this vlog has been such a mess because I haven't really been consistently filming. All I've been doing over the past couple days is bringing stuff back and forth. Well, not back and forth, just forth to my new place. And I haven't really filmed that because literally I look like this every day. Like I'm all sweaty, my face is red, I have no makeup on, my hair is disgusting. Like it's just, I don't feel very cute and I don't wanna film myself like looking like this. And also it's kind of boring, it's just like, moving the same stuff back and forth and i think it would slow down the process a lot if i was filming the entire like boring process so i have not filmed that but i do want to give you guys an update about what's going on because today and tomorrow have been kind of like big days for me so right now i am in the new place as you can probably tell um i will do another little like roundup of what i'm doing and what's going on like i'll show you where everything is and what it looks like in here and then I'm also gonna go back over to the old place and show you how that is looking because it is getting really, really empty over there. Tomorrow morning, I have my movers coming. So I hired movers just to move my big furniture. So they're moving my mattress, my desk, my dresser, and I have a credenza that they're gonna move. So I'm really excited for that. I have personally never used this company before, but I've heard high recommendations of them. So I'm really looking forward to them coming over tomorrow morning. And then also tomorrow, my boyfriend is coming over and he's gonna help me move a couple of other like big things that require two people, but like not things that I need the movers to do. Like I really just wanted to hire the movers to do like the things that I physically could not do 
alone or like even with two people, it would be a pain. Like I just wanted to hire people to handle all the really heavy stuff. But I have things like um, one of those bookcases where it's like glass shelves and the glass comes out and then it's just like a frame, which is really not heavy. It's just kind of big. So we're going to move that by ourselves. I have an over the toilet like little shelf thing, which I think I'm actually going to sell because I don't think it's going to fit in the bathroom here. And then I have my bed frame, which kind of folds up. So that shouldn't be too bad. But I think we're just going to put that in the car and drive it over. And like just some little odds and ends, like random stuff. So that is the plan for tomorrow. For today, I'm trying to do as much as I can before tomorrow, just to like prepare everything, get everything out of the movers way so it's easy and quick for them to do it. They charge by the hour. So I wanna make sure it's like really efficient for them to just come in, grab everything and go. I got my Wi-Fi set up this morning in the new place. So that was cool. It was really easy to set up. I don't know why I had this impression that setting up new internet was gonna be like such a pain in the butt, but it really was not like, there's a, a guy who's like the guy that's in charge of the internet at this building and I just called him and he like explained to me how to set it up. He like signed me up for my account. He gave me a discount. He told me to go pick up the modem at the local store and I picked it up. And then today I just like connected it into the wall. So it was really easy. I'm so exhausted, you guys. I've been basically either working or moving stuff back and forth in the evening, like all day every day for like five days in a row and i'm so tired monday and tuesday like i worked during the day and then in the evening i was doing all this and then this morning i just woke up and i felt so like sick and just like tired and dizzy so i ended up taking a sick day from work and i like stayed in bed for a long time and then when i started to feel a little better like I went and got my Wi-Fi router and I started moving the last bit of stuff. My neighbor let me borrow one of these like huge wagon things and that has been a huge help because I can fit so much stuff in there at once and then just bring like a big batch of things over to the apartment and then take them all out of the wagon and go back and get more stuff. So I've done that a few times this morning. I'm gonna return the wagon to her today because I've done like pretty much all the stuff that I need to fit in there. So yes, that's a little summary of what's been going on. Sorry, my brain is like all over the place, but I do wanna give you guys a little tour of how it looks in here. So this is the living area. There's boxes and stuff everywhere. I've tried to keep it on the perimeter of the room so that I can kind of just see everything and grab everything. Like I don't want stuff stacked up too much. This shelf I think I showed before, it's just like a storage spot for random shit. More boxes. Um, it's kind of the same in the kitchen. There's just like random stuff everywhere. I organized my spice cabinet last night, although I don't think this stuff is gonna stay like this because I think I wanna use this for something else. But for now, they're in here and I can see them all. There's just more like little odds and ends. All of this little glassware is like little glass dishes and stuff that I'm gonna put around the house as decor. So pretty much everywhere you turn, there's random stuff. <laughs> in the bathroom, nothing really is going on in the bathroom. It still kind of looks the same. And then the bedroom, it's also pretty empty. Like I just put some clothes in here. I have this bin of stuff that I need to hang up, but everything else is chilling. It's just waiting for the bed. I wanna get a rug for this room and I wish I had the rug before the bed was coming because the bed is so hard to lift up, but I don't think the timing's gonna work out. The rug out here was under my bed in storage for like two years. Um, so it's still kind of flattening itself out, but I think this is gonna look really nice and I found a couch on Facebook marketplace So the couch is gonna go right here. It's an l-shaped couch. that's so gonna go like this and I'm picking it up on Monday morning I need to book the u-haul van so I can go get it, but I'm really excited for that. It's gray So I think it's gonna play in nicely with the rug but pretty much my priority is moving as much stuff as possible. And then on the weekend, when I have more time to chill, I'm just gonna organize everything. Oh, this is the little wagon cart that my neighbor gave me. It expands and it gets really big. So this has been a lifesaver. Thank you to my neighbor. Okay, now I'm back at the old place and it's getting very empty. If you guys have seen my apartment tour, which I will link in the top corner, you can see what it used to look like if you have not been here and seen it before, but 
it's getting really empty. It's kind of crazy. The couch is gone. I gave the couch to my neighbor as a gift because she didn't have one and I didn't want it anymore. And it was just easier to give it away to her. So the movers are moving this credenza. They're moving the bed. They're moving this dresser and then they're moving the desk. So once all of that is gone, I mean, that's like basically it. I need to take these curtains down because these are my curtains and also the plant. And then this stack right here um, are curtains that I need to put back up. And then literally everything else is just like random shit that needs to be consolidated. Or like I have a little bit of like groceries and stuff that I left in here because I wasn't sure what I was gonna eat or like random dishes and things. So there's like a little bit of stuff, but most of this has been cleared out. Like there's some dishes in here. This one is empty. Uh, under here is empty. So up here is empty. So it's just getting to be really empty. All of my plants are still up here, so I need to figure out how to bring these. I think what I'm gonna do with the plants is put them in this like clear bin. So they're kind of, you know, where they can't like shake around. And then I'll put the clear bin into this thing. I took some plants over already using this method and they survived pretty well. So that's probably what I'll do again but just need to do that. Also, I'm worried about this one because this is my favorite plant. Um, it fell and the pot broke and it was also kind of suffering. So I cut it off and I made it into a cutting, but I really want this to survive. And I'm very concerned about this one making it to the new place because I love that plant. It's an angel wing begonia. And then the rest of these are mostly monstera. There's a couple of pothos and then this one is a ZZ plant. So just need to fit all these in so I can bring them over. So this part of the video is actually sponsored by Man With The Van, which is the moving company I hired to do this move for me. They were so kind and easy to work with. I booked the move a few weeks in advance online and then confirmed with them a few days beforehand. My team was two guys. They did everything super quick. So they brought their own packing materials and moving blankets. I showed them everything that I wanted them to move and then they came upstairs and and wrapped everything really well. They were very professional, very kind, very easy to work with. Nothing was broken and everything was moved really efficiently. So I was really, really happy with the service that I received from Man With The Van. My move was really close. I only moved a few blocks down the street. So it was really easy to just drive down the street, unload everything into the basement and then take it upstairs to my apartment. And from there, they just unloaded everything exactly where I asked them to put it. This could not have been an easier experience. I really appreciate their help. This is my first time having a sponsor on the channel. I did pay for these services myself and then Man With The Van offered to discount my services in exchange for me making a video about them. So this is a sponsored post, but it's my real authentic opinion. I really loved working with this company. It was recommended to me by a friend and I would highly recommend that anyone else work with them. Also, they gave me this adorable little truck. How freaking cute is this? I think I might attach it to a magnet and keep it on my fridge. Thank you so much, man with a van. I love working with you. Hello again. It is another next day. Last night was my first night in the apartment. It went really well. I finally have like, I would say, 98% of my stuff in the apartment. There's a little tiny bit of stuff left at the old place and that includes my two cats. So right now I'm about to go pick up the cats. My goal before getting the cats over here was to like tidy up enough so there wasn't just like stuff everywhere that they could wreak havoc on. So everything is put away enough. Like nothing is really organized, but at least most stuff is like in a closet or like set aside so the cats cannot get it. So I'm gonna go get them and I will show you guys how they react to being in the new place. Hi, oh my. Okay, so we destroyed some paper towels, that's good. We're gonna go to the new house. Good girl, good girl. Come on, Coral. Can you go in? Go in. Come on, we're gonna go to the new house. Good job, ladies. What do you think, Coral? Are you gonna come out? Can you go 
honey. It's a new place. What is going on? I think I am gonna wrap the video up here. It's actually the next day, so the cats had their first night in the apartment. Clove was very nervous on the first day. She was kind of hiding and shivering most of the day, but now she's come out and as you can see, she's exploring. It's the weekend now, so I'm just gonna spend some time doing some more like boring organizing and getting things together in here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. I will be filming a lot more apartment related content coming soon, like a furnished apartment tour. I'm gonna show you some projects and makeovers that I'm doing to this unit. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss anything coming up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.